Door to the science lab. Be cautious. Mm, can I load something else? Rivet City. Oh my god, that was like before we went in. Yeah, we're going to have to go with this one. Yeah, unfortunately, we're going to have to go with this one. Let's go back this way. Hey. Don't don't watch. Don't watch this part. Don't watch it. Don't don't watch. Wait a minute, what? Market closed at night. Oh, okay. All right. Well, anyways, Fallout 3, here it is. Um we did sort of like a sort of like a 30 minute stream. I don't know why I repeated myself there. Uh, like a 30 minute stream on Friday and I, w I was trying to figure out why I was getting a little bit of stuttering or something in uh, in this science lab that's up ahead that we're going to go to. Uh, but basically what we did on Friday is we didn't do much. This is the market area. This is the place that I, I was on this other side of the door when the game crashed. Uh, on I think it was Thursday. Uh, and so this is the other side of the door. Um, basically all we've done is come in here, we pick lock this and looked at this guy's computer. Um, and that's about it. Uh, the computer really didn't say much. It was just like some emails back and forth between the Seeger and, uh, this Bannon dude. So, if you want to read this, you can, but that's about it. Um, talking about a survival idea, this this Bannon and this uh, Seagrave dude, they're kind of like fighting, I guess, for like some sort of politics or something that's involved here. Um, and then, of course, the doctor that we're supposed to be talking to, that we, we need to talk to about her dad, um, is, um, is a little bit higher on the council members, I guess, or something like that. That's about it. That was all we did. Uh, and then we we're kind of just exploring this. All ruined book. Ooh, donation box. Yeah, that would be rude. But, hey, um... Be more careful. Yeah, okay, all right. But anyways, we were going to go into this the science lab over here. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Now... To you guys on stream, it might not look as bad, but for me, like, being in here, like, this does not look smooth to me. Um, but I mean, when we go out into the world, it's fine. So I'm thinking just this room has some issues, and I was going to mess around with the mods and stuff like that. But the more I thought about, about it, the more I was just like, I'm not going to do it because in case something messes up and then we can't finish this playthrough or something, probably best to just leave it. But anyways, let's listen to these people. I'm sure the good doctor's work with water purification is fascinating, but if you only knew what was at stake, the techno- Oh, I didn't know that did that. Technology in that android. What's at stake? You won't tell me what's at stake. Vagaries and secrecy. A robot's a robot, Zimmer, no matter how shiny the paint job. Now, please. Ignorance and facetiousness. That's all you people are good for. Shiny paint job, indeed. You can't even imagine the Commonwealth's accomplishments. You know, if you're so smart, maybe you could help us, hmm? But no, that never even crossed your mind. Go peddle your selfishness somewhere else. Fine. But I'm not leaving. Not until I've spoken to Dr. Lee. I'll be here when she's ready to abandon her chemistry set and talk real science. Suit yourself. But is that not Dr. Lee? You there. What are you, some kind of lab assistant? No, you look a bit more weathered. <clears throat> are you by any chance for hire? I mean, I don't want to jump to conclusions because we still have to talk to Dr. Lee. This guy already seems like an evil dude. It's just first impressions. Let's, uh, let's listen to this guy. 
That depends. What are what exactly are we talking about here? To the point. I like that. Well, as it turns out, I've misplaced some very sensitive property. Uh, missing property? What kind of property? Hmm. How do I put this in a way you'll understand? All you know of robots are those buckets of bolts, those Mr. Handshakers and whatnot. Well, that's not all a robot can be. You see, in the Commonwealth, we've made artificial persons, synthetic humanoids, programmed to think and feel and do whatever we need. And occasionally, they get confused and wander off. Hmm. Sounds like slavery to me. You sure they don't wander off on purpose? Nonsense! This is a machine we're talking about. Can you enslave a generator or a water purifier? Of course not. <laughs> the same principle applies. But let's get back to your mission. You are to find this missing android. I've tracked him to somewhere here in the capital wasteland. He must have done something drastic, like facial surgery and a mind wipe, or else I would have found him by now. It will be no easy task. He may not even realize he's an android. Don't upset him by talking with him. Just come get me immediately. I'll handle it. I kind of hope this android is like a party member that we could potentially get. That would be pretty cool. Party member, companion, follower. They're all the same. Um, I'm not sure how it is up north, but around here we get paid for our work. I'm sorry, it slipped my mind. I have at my disposal advanced technology from the Commonwealth. Ooh. I'd be willing to share some of it with you. Just think, you'll be the envy of all your friends. Um... I'll we'll say we'll find his android because he's obviously looking for it, but I don't know if we'll actually do it. We'll figure it out when we talk to Dr. Lee and stuff. That will determine whether or not we're going to do this for this guy. But uh, apparently, yeah, apparently a lot of people were saying that it was uh, fake. Uh, like NPCs and like Megaton and stuff like that, but apparently it's not. Excellent. Locate my android, and you won't be disappointed. Here, listen to this message he sent me. He's mocking me. I swear, I'll make him pay for that. Um, I need to know more about what I'm dealing with. What is an android, exactly? Forget everything you know about robots. Those buckets are mere children's toys compared to the real thing. Androids have fake skin and blood and are programmed to simulate human behavior, like breathing. They can even eat and digest food realistically. So, any suggestions for finding this android? Like I said, I suspect he's had facial reconstruction and possibly even a mind wipe. Search the offices of doctors or techies for android information. <laughs> techies. If he's come into contact with these people, there may be records. Start with Dr. Preston. He lives on this leaky boat. See if he knows anything. He's a doctor, after all. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm busy trying to ignore my surroundings. Um... Ooh, optional, okay. If this android wandered off, why would he want a new mind and face? Maybe. Maybe he didn't exactly wander off. Maybe he fled. Escaped captivity, as it were, if he began to misinterpret his situation. It's possible my android sought to forget his previous life. Wipe away all memory, all guilt trick himself into believing he really is human. So no, he may not be just an ordinary robot, but he's certainly not human, no matter how badly he wishes it so. I made him. I want him. End of story. 
Wow, that's a that's a lot of stuff here. Um, why would an android feel guilt? Come on, Zimmer. What are what aren't you telling me? By God, you're as annoying as you are clever. Very well. I'll tell you what you want to know. If it helps you locate. Yeah, you gotta tell property. me everything, bro. The duty of this particular unit was the hunting and capturing of other escaped androids. Yes, others have escaped. It's one of the side effects of having such an advanced AI. Machines start to think for themselves, fool themselves into believing they have rights. And so, this particular android may have believed he'd done something wrong, immoral, and wanted to forget those deeds. Satisfied now? It's been a while since I've seen this, but this totally has like a Blade Runner feel to it right now. This this guy's particular quest line. Um, so if others have escaped, why are you coming after this one? Well, he just said that this one was programmed to hunt the other ones, so that's probably why. If he can get this one, he could probably get the other ones. This particular android, designation A321, is different. Special. The most advanced synthetic humanoid I've ever developed. The others, like my escort Armitage there, are all older models, easily replicated. Ah, but A321? It will take years to recreate him. So you see, this android must be located at all costs. The others are all acceptable losses but a321 he is irreplaceable a321 someone got their hands on a lipo plasticator and microdermal uh graftalizer what the heck is that i don't know if i want to say that sort of stuff can i talk to this guy after Anna, don't just... Okay, because I might want to ask him about that. You need that equipment. But I did, Dr. Lee. I put it right where you told me to. That's Dr. Lee? Good to see you. Anna Holt, you Dr. Work? Lee. I like how this guy was like, I want to talk to Dr. Lee. She's not here yet, and she was standing right there the entire time. Lol. The sooner you find... Okay, let's ask him about this. I don't know why I have these options, unless they're somehow related to, like, maybe some of those android uh, tapes we got earlier in the game. Really? Someone managed to procure those here in the wasteland? Impressive. But who out here could have the skill to use them? Hmm. You're making progress, certainly. But you've got nothing more to learn from me. Oh. Get back out there. So that's kind of related to the quest Standing then. Standing around all day. Okay. Tracking down leads on a circuit neuralizer. A circuit neuralizer? Here in the wasteland? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are showing signs of in Wasting your time talking to me? What? Okay, so that's what we found out so far, apparently. What about the Commonwealth? The Commonwealth itself is nothing but a war ravaged quagmire of violence and despair. Inside the sealed environment of the Institute, however. But the Institute's affairs are none of your concern. Your undeveloped mind couldn't even begin to comprehend what we've accomplished. Don't you dare say my undeveloped mind. Do you know the history behind Rivet City? Looks to me like a giant boat ran aground and a bunch of savages moved in. History lesson over. Alright, we're done talking to you. What about you? That's close enough. Keep your hands where I can see them. I will kill you. Alright, so we're here in Dr. Lee's uh, thing. We'll talk to her. Fresh potatoes. Walker empty. Oh, bobblehead. Oh, yeah. Intelligence, boys. We found it. The inscription on the base reads... It takes the smartest individuals to realize there's always more to learn. Your intelligence has been permanently increased by one. Yes, man. That means we have eight intelligence now? 
Yeah, eight intelligence. The more skill points you'll be able to distribute when you level up. Wow, okay. We're less than a thousand. We're probably like 800. Almost 800 from uh, leveling up there. Dude. Awesome. Save that. Dr. Lee, I want to talk to your assistant, Dr. Lee. I want to look around a little bit. Reader. Where did your assistant go? See how it like stutters? This room is the most stuttery out of all. Where did your doctor go? Oh, she's sleeping. There she is. What time is it anyway in game? <laughs> Midnight. I wonder. Wait a minute, there's two? There's two of you in here. God, that stuttering is real. Uh, I want to talk to one of you. Hey. Let me talk to you. What do you need? We got questions. I'm looking for my father. Have you seen him? Look, some of us are trying to get work done here. There have been enough disruptions recently. Anybody coming through here would have to talk to Dr. Lee. Why don't you go bother her about it? I will, but I want to talk to you guys first. Also going to drink some tea. Dana said to cut back on the tea. Well, we're drinking tea today. As long as we swish around with water, we should be fine. Oh god, so good. Uh, what do you know about Zimmer? He's from up north. He was bragging about how great it is up there. Yeah, great. They can't even keep tabs on their robots. Is Dr. Lee as smart as they say she is? She's certainly head and shoulders above most everyone else around here. Though, that's not saying much. Can I get a drink around here? Preferably somewhere clean? The Weatherly Hotel is a good choice. It's on the upper deck. Later. Okay, let's talk to you now. Some people are in such a hurry. I'm Janice Kaplinski, Chief Botanist. What do you need? Chief Botanist. Botanist. Looking for my father. Have you I seen him? I see a man talking to Dr. Lee, but I really shouldn't be discussing it. Okay. She's already in a bad mood. I'd hate to make it worse. You should probably just talk to her about it. Uh, what do you know about Zimmer? Other than him being an egotistical, arrogant, condescending pain in the ass, nothing. He's from the Commonwealth. He's come looking for some special robot. I must admit I'm rather curious, but I have other work to do. Know anything about Rivet City's history? If it hasn't got to do with the science quarters, I'm probably not the one to ask. And Dr. Lee's so busy, you really shouldn't disturb her work. Okay. Well, it's pointless to talk to you, but, you know, that's not creepy at all just to stand back there, partner. Dr. Lee, I've got questions for you, madame. What do you want? Look, this is a restricted area. I'm tired of telling you people. I... It's you. My heavens, you look so much like him. My father? You're James's son, aren't you? What are you doing here? My dad's name is James? I didn't know that. Oh, uh, how do you know who I am? Have we met? No, we don't say that. You know my father. Have you seen him? Well, yes, of course I do. Don't you know who I am? I suppose James never told you. Typical. Mom? I'm Dr. Madison Lee. I worked with your father many years ago. Your mother as well, in fact. You'll have to forgive me. This has all been very stressful. What with your father suddenly showing up here after being gone for so long. You have to understand that I... We put all of that behind us. Project Purity, our work, all of it. We've moved on, even if your father hasn't. Uh, okay. We're going to ask you all these questions, so it's going to be pretty much just information heavy here. Can we stop doing that? Good God, man. I hate how I'm playing this game, going through the options here, and sometimes it, it, it is affecting things on my second monitor for some reason. That's annoying. 
Uh, I'm trying to find my father. Have you seen him? You mean you haven't? I assumed he sent you here. For that matter, aren't you supposed to be in a vault? James said he left you there. Screw the vault, I'm not staying cooped up in there. I left the vault to look for him. Did you? I was under the impression that's exactly the opposite of what he wanted for you. Well, you won't find him here. He's come and gone already. Could you tell me where he is, please? Your father insisted that we return to work on Project Purity. I tried telling him too much time has passed. There's no way it would work. Predictably, he refused to listen to me. He says he can prove it will work and head it off to the old lab. I'm sorry, I don't know what else to tell you. Uh, where is this old lab of yours? It's in the old Jefferson Memorial Building, northwest of here. Please, don't go after him. It was foolish of him to even think about going there alone. Okay, can you tell me... Oh, okay. For Dad and the Project Purity's control room... Okay, we'll be going there after we look at all the stuff here in Rivet City. Uh, can you tell me more about my parents? I suppose so. I worked with them for several years until... Until your mother died and your father decided it was time to leave. What else do you want to know? That was it. Oh. Uh, what was my father like back then? James? He was very driven. Determined to change the world. <laughs> well, we all were back then, I suppose. He was focused on two things, really. Making Project Purity work, and your mother. When she died, I think... I think he gave up. I know he wanted to keep you safe. But I think part of what he did was run away. But it seems that he never really was able to get over the idea. I'm frankly shocked that he waited all this time and wants to try again. Uh, I never knew my mother. What can you tell me about her? Yes. Your mother was... Well, she was a good woman. A very dedicated scientist. Your father loved her very much. It was a shame that she died. She had been excited to meet you. Why did my mother die? What happened? Well, we know what happened, but our character doesn't, so we're going to ask this. Complications from childbirth. <clears throat> None of us were expecting it. We weren't as prepared as we could have been. You have to understand, we were struggling with scavenged, derelict equipment. We did everything we could. Now that I think about it, you were there at the, at the beginning of the game, weren't you? Yeah, you, you were there at the beginning of the game. I'm, I'm, you had to have been. Yeah, I understand you did everything you could, yeah. Yes. Well, um... Uh, I'm sorry it wasn't enough. Let's talk about something else. Is there any way you can help me out? Look, I don't want to be harsh, but I have problems of my own. I don't have the resources to support James's foolish endeavors or your chasing after him. I'm sorry. Ooh, speech 87. Come on, isn't there anything you can do to help? I suppose I can spare a few stim packs. It's not yes. much, but it might make things easier for you. Yeah, I'll take it. Five stim packs. Yeah, I'll take it. Um, I like to know a little bit more about you. What? Well, I, I'm not sure what there is to tell. Oh, I'm just, there's, there's Your plenty. Your father and I, we worked together for a long time. I, I think we were really on to something. That sounds like code. But then there were complications. The project was abandoned, and your father disappeared. I returned here to Rivet City and established the lab you see before you now. And that was pretty quick to the point. Uh, tell me about this project you worked on with my father. Yeah, what's Project Purity? Project Purity, we called it. What do you want to know? Well, freaking, what, what is it? It was simple, really. Fresh, clean water for everyone. Such a simple idea and yet so impossible to realize. The plan was to build a facility that could purify all the water in the tidal basin at once. No radiation, no muck, just clear water. It just turned out to be more difficult than we anticipated. Difficult than anticipated. Amberdon76, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Good to have you here. Um, why didn't it work? 
We had the basic principles down. We understood most of the science behind it, but the radiation in the area is so pervasive. Small-scale tests were fine, but any time we tried to test the process on a larger scale, it was just... too much. Maybe if we'd had more time, or better equipment. Okay. Why did you stop working on it? What happened? You happened. I... It wasn't just you. We had okay. more problems than we could handle already, but your birth is what finally pushed it over the edge. Your father decided that you were more important than everything we'd been working for, and he left. He left all of us. Once he was gone, the Brotherhood decided we weren't worth their time anymore. Without their protection, we had to abandon the purifier. Okay, let's talk about something else. Uh, wow, there's still a little bit more questions we have to ask her. Uh, what is this lab? What are you doing here? This is the Rivet City Science Lab. It's taken many long years to put together, but we've done well for ourselves. Our work on portable fusion power and hydroponics are coming along quite nicely, if not quite according to schedule. Yeah, let's ask her about Zimmer. Oh, that man doesn't have you looking for his pet android, does he? I've already told him to lay off it. He's distracting my entire team. Um, you ever you ever hear of someone named Pinkerton? That idiot? <laughs> he left so long ago, most folk don't even remember him. He claimed to have found a secret stash of technology somewhere in the ship. Then he just disappeared. Okay. Uh, what kind of place is this Rivet City? Rivet City is one of the few bastions of civilization left in the land. We're working to rebuild our society, to make the world livable again. Uh, what do you know about the city's history? I could tell you all about the science lab, but even though I was here near the start, I can't really help with the details of how it all worked out. It all seems like a lifetime ago. I'm afraid I've had a lot of things on my mind since those early days. Okay, well, we got all the information we need from her, so... Good luck finding your father. Thank you, and thank you for the stim packs. So... So we've looked all around this lab here. We managed to get a bobblehead, which is pretty nice. This guy apparently is going to stay here, I guess, for whatever reason. Um, so this science lab area is done for the time being. Uh, but we still need to explore, like, everything there is about uh, Rivet City. So, let's go back to this area. That goes to the midship deck. Okay, so both of these lead to the exact same room, so let's just go there. Uh... This is your first day of Twit on Twitch. You're an, uh, an outdated gamer, no PC, only a Wii and PlayStation 2. Couldn't afford the newer stuff. Uh, you love games like this, so it's nice uh, to at least be able to watch somebody play. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, if I could, I would love to own this game or a new one. Uh, this alone would keep me entertained for like a year. Yeah. Um... This game has so much to offer, and you can definitely play this game many different ways, uh, and just in terms of like building your character alone. So it's pretty awesome to have you here, and definitely welcome to Twitch. It's an it's a pretty awesome place. Uh, it's definitely, you know, like you said, like um, being able to come here and watch somebody play a game is pretty darn awesome. So it's pretty awesome. Let's. Uh, What's in here? Everything looks okay here. Everything looks okay here. It's also like midnight in the game, so well, it's actually almost 2 a.m. So that's probably why there isn't a lot of people going on in here. Oh come on! Pay more attention to what you're doing. We should probably let's go ahead and wait. Let's wait until it's like morning and that the shops are open and stuff. Uh, we'll wait like six hours, that's fine. Hello and welcome to the Brotherhood of Steel. It is so nice to see you. Awesome. Amber Dawn, thank you so much for the follow. Really appreciate it. Awesome, awesome. But Twitch is a great place to come and watch games that 
maybe you haven't played in a while or games that you've never seen before it's uh it's really an amazing place um i was definitely a a uh, long time viewer before I started hey streaming on my own. Um, but you could pretty much, if, if you have a game in mind, there's definitely somebody streaming it on Twitch.